we recently released a paper entitled Forecasting Smart Beta, Hint, History is Worse Than Useless. In this paper, we examine the question, how do you forecast the alpha for smart beta strategies? We're in an industry in which performance chasing is endemic. Now, being as human beings, human nature conditions us to want more of whatever makes us feel good. Well, in investing, that means anything that's given us joy and profit, we want more of it. Anything that's given us pain and losses, get us out of here. We want less of it. And the reality is whatever's given us pain and losses, it's probably trading cheap. Whatever's given us joy and profits, it's probably trading a little on the rich side. So contrarian investing means selling what's given us joy and profit buying into discomfort, buying what's given us some pain and losses. Contrarian investing is, t is very hard, but that's part of the reason it tends to be profitable. When we say history is worse than useless, we mean it. When we went back historically and asked the question, do five-year historical results predict future returns for strategies, not for individual stocks, not for asset classes? When we look at smart beta strategies, whether it's fundamental index or low volatility or momentum or quality, past performance is worse than useless. Past performance negatively correlates with future results. What about if you use longer history? 10 year, 20 year, 30 year, 40 year, if you have that much data. No, it's negatively correlated even very, very long-term historical results are negatively correlated with subsequent results. What does predict future returns? Relative valuation. Not relative valuation to the market. Quality is always priced at a premium. Value is always priced at a discount. But is quality priced at a skinnier premium or a bigger premium than its own historic norms? Is value priced at a bigger discount or a skinnier discount than its historic norms? A year ago, value was priced at a bigger discount than its historic norms. Now it's about in line with its historic norms. Not outside the U.S., it's still cheap. Quality was priced at a, at a premium to its own historic normal premium a year ago. Not now. It's priced at a skinnier premium than its historic norms. It's priced cheap relative to history today. So you can get indications of where the opportunities lie and they change over time. Therein lies the opportunity. It's not a good vehicle or not a good means of gauging short-term timing. We don't advocate making big swings. We do advocate making a nudge in the direction of which strategies are likely to perform a little better or a little worse, and fading your exposure to strategies that are trading rich relative to their history, and boosting exposure to strategies that are trading cheap relative to their history. It's common sense.